Hello guys, today we will have a quite an unusual video, a story of a person that I found on Twitter. We will review his Laravel code, but also it will be a bit philosophical. I wanted to share the journey of a person who is not a developer originally, but he is trying, he's pushing himself into Laravel world, released his first project, sharing it all on Twitter with hashtag 100 days of code and other tweets. So let's view the story and for those of you who are more experienced, it will be kind of getting back to the roots, to the very beginning of your journey. And for those of you who are in the very beginning, it will be kind of an inspiration or maybe some additional energy for you to start and to continue and to improve. So Mustafa Saeed from Egypt, he created such a project called Zarafa. And the code is pretty simple. If we take a look at routes web, I will zoom it in for you. It's just a few routes. It could be optimized, it could be improved. But before we do that, I want to dive into his Twitter profile. So as you can see, an operations specialist at Vodafone in the morning and web developer at night. So he's probably trying to change his career or maybe add additional skills of Laravel in addition to his work. And he's trying to do that with quite a difficult circumstance. I've read his tweets like two a month ago and he's tweeting that he's proud of himself and he should be because he's working with pretty old and slow laptop. So even his tweet, open Photoshop and VS Code, laptop is cursing me. Another tweet on the same related topic, can a slow laptop be reason enough to stop your journey? So in quite a difficult circumstances after his work, he's doing his job and sharing his knowledge and sharing what he's learned and sharing even his frustrations. So here you can see his tweets about API responses, about form responses in general, but at the same time, a bit later, he's tweeting about self-motivation and about his plans to start sharing the learning journey. So I wanted to show Mustafa as an example. For those of you who want to start something, it doesn't necessarily have to be Laravel or whatever. You can start experiment, release something, tweet about it, share your knowledge, ask for advice, ask for review from people. So that's exactly what he did in one of his tweets, full responsive dynamic web app in the past two months. So I hope it gives you some inspiration on whatever you want to start doing or another option if you want to move from web development, for example, to starting your own product, to starting your business, to starting agency, change something, just start the journey, document that, publicly on Twitter or whatever is your social network of preference and just share the knowledge along the way. Now let's get into the code. And this part of the video will not be that useful if you are a more experienced Laravel developer, as a lot of my viewers are on this channel and I'm glad for that and I'm glad to be helpful on your journey. But for newcomers, there may be a tip or two. So first thing, consistency route get and route post with smaller r is inconsistent. It may still work and it does work, but still, if you use the class with name in uppercase, it should be uppercase everywhere. Next tip is middleware grouping. So route group could be done with one parameter of route group middleware admin, and then you wouldn't need to repeat that middleware admin in all those routes individually. Next, I see admin post controller kind of similar to route resource. So I think on the first glance, it could be transformed to route resource admin post to admin post controller. And those method names would be resolved automatically. If we take a look at the controller code, there are also things to improve here. While it still works, there are things that I would do differently. So for example, for validation, I personally like to use form request classes and hide those validation rules inside of the array inside of that form request class. Next, slug empty. If it's empty, it doesn't need to be here at all. So that's that. And then here, I don't really understand the assignment of that title variable. You could probably assign directly attribute slug equals attribute title. Although while looking at that repository deeper, I found another method in the post model set slug attribute, which actually performs the slugging with str slug function from Laravel from title. But the problem here with this approach, it does work, but set slug attribute works with the slug attribute only. 
So that title parameter, actually, it's not the title, it's the slug. So it's set in the controller, and then it is overridden by this attribute slug. So generally, using accessors and mutators in Laravel, it's mostly about one parameter only and transforming that. So in this current behavior, the variable should be renamed to slug because it's a slug, not a title. Or you could also use that directly in the controller to set the slug there instead of using set slug attribute. So these are just small tips in that repository. I didn't find anything more useful or more things to improve. Maybe you can help me with that. So I will link the repository in the description below. And that's a great job by Mustafa. So keep doing what you're doing. You're inspiring a lot of people. I kind of recognize myself in you. When I started in 2015, the blog Laravel Daily Com, I started it with the goal of sharing my knowledge daily, what I learn about Laravel. And here I am six or seven years later with a popular YouTube channel and more than 20 courses published. So long journey always starts really small. As I said, this was an untypical video, not that much with Laravel tips, but mostly for inspiration for those of you in the beginning of your journey. And see you guys in other videos.